for a successful pcnl i have always advised a free lending technique for renal access because kidney is a vascular organ and most dreadful and discouraging yet most common complication of pcnl is significant bleeding our ideal renal access should be such that is no bleeding or insignificant bleeding and this can be achieved when we make a shortest possible straight track through the least vascular portion of the renal parenchyma and we should not produce any tear or torque during removal of stone in the renal parenchyma so that bleeding is minimized a short straight track implies that it should traverse the minimum possible length through the renal cortex and hence most peripheral calyx must be punctured it may be a anterior calyx or a posterior calyx but it should have thinnest parenchyma over it that should be punctured and it should be through the least vascular portion of renal parenchyma which is obviously the convex border of the kidney where the vessels are thin and are arranged perpendicularly so we should puncture this portion of the renal parenchyma as shown and this corresponds to the brodel's white line which is the most avascular portion if you are making the track vertically like as it is shown with the red amplard sheath it will enter the medial portion of the renal parenchyma and to remove the stone you will have to bend the renal parenchyma laterally and during this bending of the amplard sheath there will be tear so all these factors are well taken care of in free lending technique or gradual descent technique we assume this is our patient in supine and when the same patient is turned prone you can identify the posterior calyx and the anterior calyx which are our target we have to puncture this target and once you have this target in mind you should always see the target on the face like this and when you have to see the target on the face you have to put image intensifier tilted 30 degree towards you the image intensifier hitting your head in supine position the x-ray tube will come closer to you and this is the way you should position for prone pcnl you should position cm like this and not like this if you position the cm in vertical way you will be puncturing the more medial portion of the parenchyma as shown with the red arrow as compared to cm in 30 degree and puncturing a lateral aspect of parenchyma this much shift of puncture on the renal parenchyma from medial to lateral side will result in minimum amount of bleeding and you will be puncturing as is obvious the medial portion if you puncture with the 0 degrees and a lateral portion as you puncture in 30 degrees so to summarize in free lending or gradual descent technique all efforts are made to puncture the most lateral aspect of renal parenchyma and a straight well aligned track is planned so a well aligned track from the calyx up to the renal pelvis will be tilted 30 degree onto the skin and it can be made when the cm is position tilted 30 degree and you are starting like this in bull's eye technique you have to just maintain the needle tip needle hub image intensifier and x-ray tube everything in this straight line whether the cm is in 0 degree or 30 degree you will be just aligning but in gradual descent technique if i had to start the bull's eye technique i should have started at the red triangular area i don't start there i put the needle 3 to 4 cm lateral and this is seen as is shown in the image and then descend the needle in such a way that hits the target and then i confirm in 30 degree and in 0 degree if the needle tip remains at the target in both the images i am at the target so this is how we have to gradually land like a aeroplane lands on to the runway this is how the needle is advanced towards the renal cortex and then puncture is made if it is a superior calyx again in the similar way the needle starts 3 to 4 cm above and then gradually descends into the superior calyx 
and this is shown in this particular video so gradual descent technique this is are the advantages the, it is a lateral puncture through the broadles line there is easy guide wire placement because of alignment there is no bleeding clear field and therefore there is no hurry and better stone clearance and it offers excellent mobility our unpublished data has shown that out of the 7500 cases which we had finished in 2011 the blood loss was insignificant and we had to do transfusion only in 1.83% cases and no case had required renal embolization now we have crossed 10000 cases and still we have not required angioembolization in any case thank you